hello everyone welcome to the laravel tips and tricks today video is about section versus stack so did you know what's the difference between stack and section so let me explain first section hope you are familiar with the section so basically section is used to render our uh, our child component into the parent component right so what is the meaning of component component is mean i'm asking about the blade right so if we have a uh, some piece of code we want to render this piece of code from the child component into the parent we use the section and uh, in the in the parent uh, we use yield directive right and uh, our this property will be rendered into the parent one right so then i'm coming to this stack so stack is also similar to the section so then question arise i'm reading this uh, today and i uh notice that it's pretty same as section then i google it that what's the difference while i will edit this tag so then someone asked this question six year ago and then uh, here someone uh, replied very clearly i might mistaken but the difference not only semantically but in the behavior as well as push you as many time as to the stack while the default you may section you may only once in your views it means that we can render the section into the parent uh, into the parent blade only once but you can render your uh, stacks multiple time into the parents one right so why we need this so let's understand it with the example so this guy is explain it very well so let me rate it first okay then i'm going to my text editor and i have created a simple example right so first uh, i have created a simple app blade which contains the header and yield uh, header and footer and a yield property which is used uh, for adding our section code into the parent file okay then another file is welcome right so let's click on this welcome and this welcome uh, welcome is extending layouts dot app and then there is a section and this one contain a main content right so now let's save this one and give it a refresh okay let's go here give it a refresh and it's displaying us a header a main content and a footer right so now i'm going to implement this here uh, push okay and then here i'm going to end this push okay push save this one and here we need to use the stack instead of yield save this one and let's get refresh so it's also same so now question arise that what's the difference so difference is if i go to this uh, welcome blade and here i'm going to add a for each uh, for loop not for each for so it's a blade directive so let me uh, create it as blade directive and first i need to add this i okay and then i need to mention it's uh, equal 0 and then i less than uh, i want to say 3 and i plus plus okay and here i'm going to end this after this out right so here now let's save this one and give it a refresh and check that how many times stack will be rendered so it's rendered 3 times right but if i go back and let me uh, comment this out and then i'm going to rename this so it would be a uh, section okay and then here i'm going to come here and uh, let's comment this out and then i'm going to add this a uh, yield yield okay let's uh, remove this one and give it a refresh so how many time it's going to execute refresh so it's executing only one time so it means that we can't uh, render it multiple time at the run time so it will be uh, executed only one time so mm, that's why laravel edit this stack so it's very useful when you want to render a uh, component at the run time so that is the beauty of this uh, stack by the way if you are not from my youtube channel i have uh, i am shooting uh, nowadays shooting on the laravel uh, i have a uh, different playlist on the laravel laravel design pattern where you can structure your bigger projects and uh, there is also jquery ajax call setup vs code if you are a laravel developer 
you must uh, watch this series because it will boost your development process okay laravel pdf oh, it's advanced series laravel 9 course it's uh, in the hindi and if you know that hindi or urdu so you can watch this course it's a full fledged course integrate admin dashboard or laravel advanced email series where you can send the email based on different activated themes you can send the colored email based on user roles laravel http this is the api series so integration and much more things so you will get some beneficial from this channel and i am also posting uh, different posts on the community tab on the regular basis so you can get the regular tips and tricks from this uh, youtube channel and by the way i have uh, i have announced a giveaway where i'm giving the laravel project right so you need to satisfy three ma uh, three main requirements and it, these are the simple requirements and you will be uh, able to contribute into this uh, giveaway so if you like this video please subscribe the youtube channel and stay connected for the daily videos at 11 pm according to the pakistan time so i will meet you in the next one bye bye